Well, we're coming to the end of the year, and what a year it's been, right? I mean, milestones all over the place, and not all of them happy, but some of them, you know, worthwhile, at least. And so, like we've done in the past, sort of coming to the end of a year and recognizing what a gift you have given us in supporting and spreading the word and liking and, you know, the videos that we do would have gotten no traction without your interest. So thank you for that. We have, in the past, as you know, given away some anvils. And we'd like to do that, but we can't this year for a couple reasons, mostly being the anvils that are in the shop right now all have a particular job to do pretty soon. We have them earmarked, and we haven't gotten any other new ones this year. As you probably know, they're hard to find. But we have got a couple of things that we would like to send out there to give back. The first of those, you see these pans? So cookware has got to be one of the very first things that blacksmiths ever started working on. I mean, it's important. And I made these pans in Stagecoach Forge Farm and Forge over in Oakland. Brian Sandin, you've met him. We cranked out some pans the other day. It was fun. It was something new to me. And that is part of the glory of the craft, right? Is having a chance to do any number of new things for the first time. They turned out good because Ryan knows how to do it and he's got the gear and he kind of held my hand on the first couple and then, you know, I mean, it is after all just blacksmithing. So coincidentally, Torborn Amon, and you've got to check out his channel, uploaded a video just like today about making a pan. And one of the things he said was, like everything else, there's a million ways to do this, but it was the way that he did it. And everything that guy does is beautiful. So number one, I recommend you check out his channel. Number two, what we need from you concerning these is we're giving them away, but we want to give them to some folks who know how to use them and can help other people understand the benefits of a carbon steel frying pan. So if you know somebody who really cooks and has a way to get that information out there, I mean, really what we're thinking of is people who have Instagram accounts or YouTube channels or you know, however their cooking is made known to the world, let us know in the notes, upvote them, encourage us to at least check them out because there's some number of people out there that could receive these six pans and put them to work and give us a really meaningful review of just exactly what they consist of, which would help Ryan over at Stagecoach Farm and Forge and hopefully would sort of increase awareness of the beauty of an actually hand forged piece of cookware. Now the second piece of this is related to the first, and that is we want people to start blacksmithing, to start experimenting with these different, um, with these different applications of one of the oldest crafts, right? And so to that end, we're able this year to give away blacksmith courses. We've got a blacksmith course that we've been selling and we're gonna to continue to sell, but we would like to give away 10 or a dozen of these courses to some of you who are ready I mean, you've got your ducks in a row. You've got a spot. Maybe you've got something to hammer on. Even if it's just a sledgehammer, it doesn't have to be a fancy anvil. Maybe you've got a forge, I hope, because we would like these courses to go to the first 10 of you who send us an email to the address that you can find in the notes with a picture of where you're going to be doing your forging. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be grand. It just has to be about ready because we would love to hear back and see pictures of what you do when you get just a little bit of a boost and a little bit of sort of, you know, inside baseball on some of the tricks that really help when you're trying to figure out how in the world to make the iron bend to your will. And that is the biggest part of the satisfaction of doing this, is taking something that is way tougher than you are and just making it do what you imagine and can make it do. That's the essence of blacksmithing. We would like for more people to enjoy that. So send us an email. We'll look it over and we're gonna send out some courses. And in the meantime, thank you for watching Essential Craftsman. Let me say that again. Thank you for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.